Hi guys, Erica Bentley with Berkshire Hathaway here, uh, your real estate resource. And I'm here with my friends, Lindsay and Katie, with Stuart Title, so we can talk about some fun, exciting title and escrow. Okay, today we're going to cover some of the verbiage that you might come across or hear um, during escrow while we are preparing to close escrow on a property. So we've accepted an offer, we have opened escrow, um, some of the things that we might refer to are like EMD, mm -hmm. earnest money deposit. Mm -hmm. And I get a lot of questions, what is earnest money deposit? I usually tell them that's kind of like collateral. Mm -hmm. This is why, you know, you're giving me this bit of money to go towards down payment and closing costs. Um, Showing that you're serious yes, about your purchase. To promise that I'm going to fulfill the obligations of my contract. Mm -hmm. So that way that seller will take the property off the market and stop marketing the property to other buyers while yeah. you have time to do your due diligence. Mm -hmm. And on the topic of contract, like you said, sometimes people refer to it as an O and A. So you'll hear that a lot, which means offer and acceptance. You hear it called a purchase agreement, contract. RPA. RPA. RPA ratified contract. Mm -hmm. So everybody kind of has something different that they call it, but it really all means the same thing. As far as earnest money, it can be called earnest money, it can be called EMD, it can be called deposit. We've heard so many different things. Um, one of the ones that people get most confused about is the prelim or the PTR or the preliminary title report. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we as the escrow company pull to make sure that we know exactly who the seller is, who owns the property, um, what the confines of the property are as far as location, um, if there's any liens or any judgments on it, if we have to pay off, let's just say Wells Fargo Bank in order to make sure that when the person buys it, then they now have a clear title. Those are some of the things that we use um, that we use the prelim for. Also, you hear the term um, escrow instructions. You'll hear um, the term uh, early release of funds. And again, those are just things that are done internally at the escrow company that either give you the guidelines of the contract or give us permission to release money. Mm -hmm. um, what else do oh, we hear? Oh, wet signature. Oh goodness, that's a fun one. Everyone's yeah. like, what's a wet signature? We're, we're in a digital world. We're in a world of DocuSign and a world of, of technology. Mm -hmm. um, a wet signature is a real live signature. Right. It doesn't have to be blue. Everybody thinks it does. It does not have to be. You can use black ink, mm -hmm. but a wet signature, wet signature is just a real live actual signature. And so here's a funny thing with wet signatures. I think I think it's odd. You know, they'll ask for a wet signature. I'll, I'll go to my client, have them sign it, but then it's okay that we send Scan you it and fax yeah, it. Send you fun? an email copy of that. Uh -huh. Are there cases when that won't work? When it actually has to be done? Absolutely. Live. With the grant bargain sale deed or the GBSD or the deed that you'll hear that one too, um, that is actually the recorded instrument that changes the ownership from let's just say Erica to Katie. Mm -hmm. That one has to be done with an actual live signature or a wet signature and they do not accept any type of copies for that. Okay. So that would be pretty much the only instance. Otherwise, the only real difference is it, you can do one of them handwritten and then send me a copy mm -hmm. or the other we can do electronically. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other terms that you can think of that? There's so many and it, it's it's hard for us because yeah. it's, it's a language. I it's know. just its own language and every, every entity and every industry has its own terms and terminology that they use. So it's really hard to say, but I can assure you that if we come up with other ones, I'm happy to shoot yeah. another segment. If you guys you. think of one, you know, Text us, call us, absolutely. Tag us in a in a post, whatever. Mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll get a we'll get a definition out for you. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment of Real Estate Resources. We have Erica Bentley with Berkshire Hathaway Group and Katie and Lindsay from Stewart Title. It was a pleasure. If you have any further questions or anything that we can address or discuss for you, please let us know. You can send us an email, send us a text, or comment in the messages, and we're happy to answer whatever questions we can for you.